have taken a short day trip to one of my favorite places in the world, Hanging Rock State Park. Um, it's a little mountain cluster a little bit north of Winston-Salem, which is about two hours from where I live. And it was just such a perfect day. Let me show you the sky. Look at how blue that sky is. Just completely cloudless. And um, as I was hiking, I realized I've been spending, because of, I guess, COVID, I live next to a lake where I can walk. And I walk about two and a half, three miles a day. Maybe I would say five days a week. Um, sometimes it rains or sometimes I do yoga, I take a day off. But uh, I haven't really been doing any running or aerobic activity. And I'm about, I would say I'm about halfway up this mountain, which is a, it's a 4.5 mile loop. And I am winded. Let me just show you the path here. So, what is this? There we go. I don't know if you can see that. It's just up. And then here's the path that I just walked. And I just um, was thinking about the Ascension journey. I think um, one of my friends, Danny Kurz, shout out Danny, uh, did a, a video about, you know, her walking up a mountain and about how, you know, you can, you can, um, you have these moments where you may get winded walking up your Ascension path. You may feel like um, you don't have, like, you need to just rest and restore. And so every so often when I can tell my heart's at max capacity, you know, with its aerobic functions, I just take a rest and I bring my heart rate down and then I just keep going, right? Like in your ascension path with your twin flame, you can't really, you can stop, but nothing happens when you just, right? Like you stand still. You don't go backwards unless you choose to. If I, if I chose to, I could go backwards. I don't want to, right? But I can also choose to stop, and that doesn't feel good either. It feels really bad for me to stop on this mountain and let, um, like, nighttime fall, and then I'm out of food. So I gotta, I gotta finish my, my uh, hike here, and hike up all the rest of these carved steps. It's really nice. Can you, can you imagine like who, who carved those steps? <laughs> right? Like somebody. These are not natural. Someone came and brought either brought these rocks here or chiseled them out of the mountain. So I'm going to keep going and I will see you at the top. So I lied. I didn't really lie. But I wanted to stop and show you something. I'm not yet at the top, but each of these steps is like a mirror exercise when you complete it and love yourself. They're like blocks and you must walk them in order to get to the top. You cannot float over them. You have to face your blocks and challenges on your twin flame journey. You have to love yourself every time you face a block. If you don't love yourself, you're just noticing the block and then just kind of talking about, oh, there's a block there. There's a block. Yeah, it feels bad, right? You got to love yourself to go up the block or to surpass or, you know, have your next step on your trip. So I'm going to face all these blocks and I'm going to think about all the mirror exercises that I have done and all that I will do on my pathway to perfect union with God. I made it to the top and I'm sitting eating a snack. There's like a observation tower. And this is what we see. The part um, just before the top was like the steepest. Um, that really was a good metaphor for the journey to harmonious union. Um, but you don't stop and you get your bearings. You like get your spiritual muscles strong at the bottom with the, the, uh, not as steep part. And you, you, your legs start to build strength. And then once you get to the top, you can handle the tough stuff. So look at that. Isn't that cool? It's so cool. It's a pretty sheer drop. I'm not going to go to the edge. <laughs> it's pretty bright out here. Um, so I'm on my way down the mountain. And at the top, um, I just took a little break. I ate some snacks. I just took what I needed. And, and funny enough, um, this is what I'm learning about cardio is that, like, my appetite is decreased. Like, I don't feel like I need to eat, like, a whole burger or fries. I just, I ate, like, half an orange, some peanuts, um, 
a little bit of M&M's, or no, they were chocolate chips. I get them mixed up. And then um, a couple of slices of cheese and like that, that did it. Like I was full and I had a drink too, like sparkling water. Um, I really like the Spindrift brand because they have like infused fruit juices in there. Um, hang on, the sun's kind of in my eyes. I could put my sunglasses on. I feel like that's kind of weird for YouTube, but just a second. Let me switch, switch around so the sun's not directly in my eyes. Okay. I think that's better. Okay, good. So yeah, I just wanted to, um, just kind of talk about like your twin flame journey and how, um, like the thing that you need to do on your journey is surrender and I didn't really understand surrender for a long time. I thought it meant like giving up or giving in like to, to a bully, right? Like you think of like cartoon shows and you got the person surrendering and waving the white flag. Um, and it was all about like a game of like win or lose. And, uh, I equated surrendering to losing. Like I created, a, I equated surrendering to losing. Like I lost the battle. I surrender and it is kind of like that, but not really. Like, there's no winning or losing. So, like, real surrender is surrendering into love and choosing the path of least resistance in love. It not, it's not a giving up at all. But um, I used to think that surrender was just like, <clears throat> like on my twin flame journey, was um, settling or putting up with. There's a lot of things I had to clear up about my beliefs with surrender. So initially I thought that I had to like give up, uh, what I wanted and I had to let go uh, of the thing that I desired and stop desiring it and stop trying, um, or stop making an effort. That's not necessarily true. You do make an effort. You make an effort to love yourself. It's just, it's the way that you're orienting your heart. It's nothing about, um, like, not loving your twin flame or having to let them go and like get mad at them and ignore them or block them because um you think that's surrender but that's not surrender is loving your twin flame loving your man or woman and letting go of trying to control how you get there um and just using the mirror exercise doing the inner work um that i teach that uh jeff and shalia teach in their school twin flame ascension school and um, it's really, really important for you to understand what true surrender is because you hear that word a lot. It's not giving up. It's not, you know, um, <laughs> waving the white flag to uh, something that's trying to control you. It's really surrendering to love, surrendering to loving yourself and like letting that be the path of least resistance that will actually carry you more swiftly to your twin flame. So harmonious twin flame union is a vibration of love, of unconditional love that you have for yourself, which naturally carries over into your twin flame. So it's recognizing that you're one at the core. <clears throat> you can't control your way to get there. Um, you can't uh, push them or push their boundaries just, you know, just because you see that it's an illusion, right? You must let go and trust and choose love instead, choose respect and love in the place where you were once choosing um, an upset or, or whatnot. So yeah, um, just a little bit about me, like I had to surrender to love instead of my false belief that I wasn't going to get what I desired. So giving up is different from surrendering. Giving up is not fun. It's not, not going to get you what you desire. Giving up looks like, oh, I've tried my best to push on this wall and it's not moving. So I just won't, I don't want to be with my twin flame. Like that's giving up. That's not true. So yeah, surrender is, um, Surrendering to your feelings, surrendering not to letting them take you over, but surrendering to your your desires, those kind of feelings. Like, I desire to be with my one true love, you could say to yourself, and I claim that. And uh, you surrender to the truth that that's what you're meant to have. You're, you don't surrender to the fear, you surrender to love. So I'd like to help you with this. And maybe, maybe you're starting to like perk your ears up and you want to go deeper um, so I'm currently still taking um, introductory sessions 
that will not, uh, that's not going to happen forever. So I currently still have um, introductory sessions available. And if you want to look in my description below in this video, and if you would like to go ahead and jump into some twin flame coaching with other twin flames on their journey, um, you can join one of my twin flame group classes. I have a space available on Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern and Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, and I may open up a new group in the near future. So stay tuned for that. But wanted to wish you a lot of love and stay tuned. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you resonated with what I was saying. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.